Welcome everyone. I'm with uh, Vanya, Vanya Sri Goyal uh, from USC Marshall at uh, Los Angeles and I'm in Gurgaon <laughs> at my home base. Uh, this section of our conversation is more about uh, opportunities of finance or a consulting student who's aspiring to work in those two fields uh, could do to prepare. And I was really amazed to see uh, your profile and the lovely things that you've done. Uh, so why don't you introduce yourself quickly, Vanya, and then we'll move from there. Definitely. Um, hi, sir. Thank you for having me here again. And hi, everyone. My name is Vanya Shri Goyal. I go by Vanya. I'm currently a senior at USC Marshall School of Business, where I'm majoring in business administration and management. And I have a minor in digital entrepreneurship. I'm currently in Los Angeles. We have online classes going on at USC and I'm originally from New Delhi, India. Great. So, you know, when I look through uh, all the lovely things you've done, the one thing that stood out was the consistent two plus years of your engagement as president of the Marshall Women's Leadership Board. Uh, that obviously uh, sounds pretty interesting. And I've been following some of your posts on LinkedIn uh, to tell us more about it why you chose to sort of invest time uh, and then uh, apply for leadership roles. What does that mean to you personally? Yeah, definitely. Well, as a freshman, when we all come in, I am sure everyone can agree that we want to apply to as many organizations. You know, we want to get into as many organizations as well so that we have things to, you know, um, talk about or as well as we have people who we can meet through these organizations. So Marshall Women Leadership Board was one of the many organizations that I applied to when I was a freshman. And uh, I was super excited coming from India, you know, uh, from a conservative family as well. I wanted to be part of this community that looked extremely inspiring to a girl like me who wanted to make a mark in the corporate world where we had these amazingly talented 30 plus uh, Marshall girls who were trying to help create a community that helps women um, create a mark for themselves in the business world. So I applied for it actually in my first semester, I got rejected. And then I reapplied in my second semester and got into this organization. And um, it's been a very, very, very encouraging, blissful and super learning based journey so far. I was an extremely like focused and uh, like uh, those excited members who knew that she had been rejected once. So she really didn't want to take this opportunity and experience for granted. And I was super excited, wanted to attend all the professional develop de development workshops that this organization hosted. And I was very close to the president. And I loved meeting these alumni who we used to call who were like working in the professional world. And they saw that I was this I was very passionate about the mission and I started applying for you know, leadership roles because I wanted to give back to the community for the network and the experience that it had given to me. And I got into you know, the e-board and then finally I got selected as the president and the experience was so rewarding and I got so, I was very happy that I was able to give back and I wanted to redo it because of the kind of connections you make and the experience you get. And, you know, you're very closely working with the Marshall Dean and the Marshall faculty and also professional contacts in the um, career world. So it's been a great journey so far and amazingly talented girls up there, you know, wanting to create a mark. So uh, if you were to give some tips on your leadership mantra and like share some insights or stories. What have you learned as a leader in the last two years of your engagement with this board? That's definitely a very interesting question. I think um, the thing that I've learned the most by being the president of Marshall Women's Leadership Board is how to be a listener and how to be a democratic and collaborative leader. I strongly believe in collaborating with my leadership team, which I kind of expanded to from nine girls, it's now 16 girls. And the reason why I wanted to even expand the leadership team was because I feel more perspectives, more diversity always leads to better results for our members. And I really want to be able to listen to all of them because of the experience that they bring in instead of 
constantly imposing my thoughts and my ideas onto everyone and run such a big organization. So I would never take the credit for running it on my own, actually. It's all of us together being able to run it and offer the experience and expertise in our individual parts to the organization. So I think it's about how much you can listen, how much you can collaborate and give back together. Excellent. And if you were to talk about women leadership and issues related to um, you know, understanding what um, the glass ceiling is or uh, what are the current trends for future of work, which could be gender influenced or gender biased. Uh, what are your insights on such topics and how do you gather that information and share it with uh, uh, the community at large? Yeah, definitely. So I think it's uh, gender parity in the workplace and in educational institutions has always kind of been a topic of discussion. And I've got the experience to kind of work with the Marshall faculty and administration to understand how we're working towards this mission more strongly. And it's, it's really interesting to see that a lot more girls are actually wanting to you know start their own startups at a very young age to become financially independent and to have more control of their lives and it's also very interesting to see a lot more girls enter finance you know which was predominantly a male dominated industry and uh, it's so so encouraging to see that I'm seeing more girls from my freshman year till my senior year enroll in finance classes, real estate classes, which were majority just guys, you know. And Marshall is doing a great job as well to kind of encourage organizations like us to promote these classes amongst all our girls and, you know, help them understand what it's like to be financially independent. So it's interesting to see kind of how so many of my friends are heading towards this path, you know, becoming investment bankers, becoming these finance role models for all of us. And I'm really excited to kind of see that once after maybe three, four years of when I'm working, you know, I, I feel like a lot more girls will be CEOs around me, which I'm already seeing all my friends talk about. So I think that that trend is really, really encouraging. Yeah, this kind of segues, you know, into my next question. At Edbrand, we have several, and we encourage students to form clubs and organizations. Uh, we have a finance and investment club called uh, The Invisible Hand. Uh, students discuss topics in economics, current trends and news, um, wow. economics and all of that. So uh, when I was going through uh, your profile on LinkedIn, it clearly one thing recently that you posted was winner of the Johnson & Johnson University Finance Case Study Competition along with other USC students. And I noticed another student I'd known well, Divij Kapoor. Uh, he's oh, there. yeah, of course. <laughs> it's fun to see a small group of Ed Brand and uh, working together, even in university. They're always making you proud. <laughs> yeah. So, great. So, tell me a little bit about this uh, finance case study competition. Uh, how are uh, students grouping together to prepare for such things? And uh, what's the big deal? Why should one do this? I think it's about getting more experience. You know, you learn so many concepts and you read so much through classes and through textbooks and you're kind of always memorizing or learning them for exams. But then what happens once you've learned all of it? How do you get to apply it? You can definitely do that by doing part-time jobs, by doing internships. But another way to do that is and to get kind of hands-on experience and learn what companies are doing is by being a part of these case competitions. And I personally did not know about it at all. Um, a friend of mine approached me and he said that, you know, Johnson & Johnson is doing this finance or case study competition for undergrad students all across the US. And I was like, oh, okay, wow, I'd never really done a case competition before. And I was still kind of learning about finance and slowly getting into it. But with COVID coming, you were really hearing a lot more about these healthcare companies. So I was like, you know, it'll be a very interesting experience for a business student like me. And the way you kind of form these groups is that these companies have an entire application process where they give you the flexibility of uh, collaborating with five to six students from your school, which you have met either through your classes or your personal social group or through your organizations. And you kind of 
get together by seeing who has what expertise, whether someone has more presentation skills or finance skills or maybe coding skills. And you get together and you kind of get a prompt from a company like Johnson & Johnson and you work towards solving a global issue for a company as students and work as consultants, you know, and present your idea and your solution and your financial models to these judges who actually employees working at the company with tremendous experience. And it was super rewarding. And I got to learn a lot about financial modeling, strategy, uh, sales, business development, collaboration. So I would say that students should do these things, which like each to its own, it gives you a lot of confidence, public speaking skills, and just helps you kind of network with companies as well. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Um... After each of these segments, what we also do is uh, ask uh, the speaker to share, you know, their favorite podcasts, links, preparation <laughs> tools. Uh, so in your case, there are two, two tasks I'll give you. One would be to share notes about women in leadership positions in the business world. Uh, what other students who aspire to join such organizations should perhaps be inspired by, by following and reading. The second thing, or doing courses, uh, the second area would be the finance case study competitions or entrepreneurship sort of, uh, competitions um, that students could participate in. So viewers, uh, we'll be signing out now, but uh, on our LinkedIn, uh, we'll also share uh, some of these uh, notes, which one I will share, and we'll uh, definitely get, get more interaction going. So thanks, Vanya, and look forward to following your dreams and wish you all the best. Thank you so much, sir. See you.